Hey, Toby here from HealingDrummer.com, and welcome to The Best You, Part 2. We're going to talk about the element of water today. In the last video, I gave you an over, uh, kind of a, a synopsis of, of the co uh, cosmology that I work with. It's from West Africa. Uh, my teacher, Maladoma Somme, comes from Burkina Faso, West Africa, and has worked with me in this cosmology for a little over 20 years and it has absolutely revolutionized my life. I am so grateful to him and to that culture for bringing this gift. As we find the genius within ourselves, we're able to find the genius within others. And it, it, I have found it to help eradicate judgment, in, enhance communication, uh, just makes life better altogether. The other thing is when you can understand that somebody is coming from their strengths, and we can assist them in doing that. Uh, we don't get so worried about when they come from their weaknesses. We just understand. Speaking of understanding, today's subject is the element of water. The water people in the village have birth years that end with the number one or the number six. So if your birth year has a one or a six at the end of it, guess what? You're part of the water tribe. Um, the water people are the peacemakers. They're about healing. They're about reconciliation. They're about re the removal of obstacles. And water is a very, very powerful element uh, that's often misunderstood. In, the, uh, in, in a business context, when I'm working with uh, teams and we're putting uh, teams together and I find the water people, those are the people that are very emotional. They're very emotionally attached to things. They can really understand other people's emotions. And the beautiful thing about having a water person on a team is that they can, they can hear the conflict. They can hear the back and forth, you know, and they can find the common ground and bring it together. The other thing that water people do beautifully is they understand a problem. They can feel the emotion of that problem, and then they can bring the solution to eradicate the problem. They have a natural knack of being able to clear the way. But they don't clear the way like a bull in a china shop. They usually are very elegant. They're usually very good negotiators. And they're usually very good at, like I said earlier, finding the common ground and bringing it together. So, if you're a water person, you know what your genius is now. Always work from your strengths. The more that you are empowered and come from that place of empowerment, the easier your life will be and the more effective your life will be. Thanks for listening to this video. Next time we'll do part three. And that'll be about Earth. Have a great day.